Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Z here. So I am on the floor because I have a giant package that was delivered today and I needed the giant floor space for this package. Uh, if you guys didn't know, ColourPop and Candyland collabed and I am super excited. ColourPop or ColourPop <laughs> is one of my favorite makeup uh, brands, but also Candyland has been my most favorite board game in the whole world. Um, she was my favorite character, Queen Frost, Frostine. Um, she was my absolute favorite. Every time my brothers uh, would pick her card to land there, I would get sad because of the fact she was my absolute favorite. So I am super excited for this. I ordered the PR collection because I just had to have the box. Um, so let's get started. I am sorry if I knock into the camera, by the way. Uh, the box is huge. It is really good quality. I love it. Um, but anyways, when you first open it up, it has all this stuff. Like, look at how cute this is. Welcome to ColourPop Land. Like, this is just so cute. Princess Lolly, the little kids. Um, I forgot what his name was. Dang it. I don't know. I can't remember what his name is. But it's such a cute, like, pastel-y color. Um, I don't have my original Candyland game here, but, you know. That's fine. Oh, this is a really big box. <laughs> I can't open it. Okay, give me a second. All right. So, like I said, I got the full collection. Um, it came with a plastic covering over it, so I'm just going to take this out and hopefully not drop or hit anything. I'm going to move my table slightly back and over. Okay. So, it came with a plastic thing over it. So everything would stay in line. Um, wow. So here is a better view of it. Like, look at how cute this is. So it comes with four or three lip balms, a gloss, three super shock cheeks, um, some face serums, and a palette, and the little puffy thing. Don't remember what it's called. But let's get to unboxing, but just can you just appreciate how cute this is? Like, look at how cute. So, the first thing we are going to grab out, and I'm going to put this on the ground just because it is a big box and I don't want to knock anything around, is the Princess Lolly Roller Gloss. So this is what it, the box looks like. It's super cute. I'm definitely keeping all of this. Um, so let's open this. Like the packaging is so cute. Um, I could actually here. Maybe can you see? Yeah. Okay, don't mind the messy table. This is also my painting table. But look at how cute this is. This is the packaging next to it. Um it smells amazing. I actually used to have these as a kid, but not obviously this. It was by some other brand. Here, I'll move you guys up. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. I can't decide what I want in this setup. It smells delicious. I am super excited to try this. I'm going to put this back in so we can go through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. I can't get over it. Alright, so the next thing is the glowing lip balm in the shade Mr. Mint. Now, this was also one of my favorite characters. Um, just because it, it was just super cute. And I'm going to open from the bottom. That way I don't have to rip off the sticker. Okay, this packaging is to die for. Look at this. It says um, ColourPop Candyland. Or ColourPop Land. Sorry, I keep calling it Candyland because that's what it is. Um, this is the shade. I'm sorry, the lighting is not the best here. Also, ignore the paint on my hands. I was painting. Um, so there's that one, and that was Mr. Mint. I'm going to, of course, swatch all of these, but I do want to get through all of this. Uh, this is the shade Lit Chill. Once again, packaging, really cute. I am so excited to swatch and play with all of this. Um, and this is, once again, a super cute shade. It's more of a pinkyish color um I really can't wait to try this stuff and then lastly for the lip product is the shade 
peppermint frost. Um, so yeah. And once again, it's more of a pink tone, of course, because candy pink. Mr. Frost, is that his name? I, don't, I can't remember all of their names, but I'm sure I will figure it out. All right, and of course, they have the Super Shock cheeks, and I'll pull them all out so we don't have to keep going back in. So, look at how cute the packaging is. Okay, this is really cute. Whoever came up with this, adorable. Um, the color is amazing. I don't believe I own any of their Super Shocks, so I am so ready to see um, like how they look and stuff if that makes sense considering I don't own them and I'm just gonna take them all out of the package that way we do not have to waste time and I can talk about how much I'm really excited for this collab um, luckily all the shade names are on the back so starting off with the first super super shock cheek um, is the shade gummy more now this is just so cute I'm glad Okay, I was not expecting there to be a scent, but there's one there. Look at how cute this is. Like, I'm really freaking excited. Um, this is the shade Jolly. And once again, it probably, yeah, it smells good. It's so pretty. Now, like I said, ColourPop is one of my most favorite brands. Um, this is the shade Gumdrop Pass. I don't know why I feel like I have to smell everything, but they, they smell good, so that's all that matters. Um, alright, next we'll dive into the thing I can't grab out. The big circle thing, if you know what I'm talking about. This is the Queen Frostine. Uh, Color Pop Land Pixie Puff Highlighter. Now this is a cute little packaging. Look at her. She is a literal queen. All right. And of course, for safety measures, there are stickers. So I'm gonna just put those on my pants because why not? So like I said, this is Queen Frostine. Uh, it's super cute. I'm just gonna look at the little puff. Now I've never used one of these, so I don't know how this works. To be quite honest. Um, it's just so cute and soft and pretty and of course there's a little thing protecting the powder oh no oh boy okay let me just this is definitely a collection that I'm going to keep all of the once it's all used up just because it's super cute and this is one of the th collabs that I want to display in my makeup room once I get one. It smells good, but look at, oh, didn't think that through, but it is okay. It's just on my table. Uh, that's fine. Oh no, I'm putting it in backwards. All right. My husband's going to love me for this. There's going to be glitter everywhere. Shiny, pretty. That was cool. Okay, I literally did get it everywhere. Like, it's all on my table. Okay, well, why don't we just swatch it now? Oh, that is beautiful. Now, like I said, I've never used it, so I don't know how you're supposed to put it on, but it's definitely going on everywhere. All right, next we have the, wow, these are a good weight. Feeling, feeling plumpy, um, face milk kit. Our watermelon, papaya, and coconut face milks all hydrate and moisturize soup for super soft and supple skin. Mmm, yes please. The routine, apply two to three drops into the palms, warm between hands, and press gently into the skin. Use as needed. So, first of all, I love all three of these. I love coconut, watermelon, and papaya. Um, literally just had a coconut popsicle the other day. But, oh! I expected it to be in glass or er, plastic jars, but these are glass. This is so cute. I want to just smell it, okay? 
that smells like coconut for sure for sure i don't know what i expected here is the papaya one the glass the containers are just so cute and tiny um that smells like papaya um and of course the watermelon one i love watermelon it's one of my favorite fruits in the whole world and that smells delicious that I want to eat it, but I know it's not edible. <laughs> but anyways, and of last but not least is the Candy Castle ColourPop palette. Now, I love, I love, don't know how many times I have to say this, but I love Candyland. The fact that ColourPop, one of my favorite brands, collabed, it makes me excited. But this is what the palette looks like. Look at how Oh, these colors are so cute. I'm so excited to try them. Um, there's, looks like three mattes, um, four shimmers, and then more metallic -y chrome. Is that what they're called? I don't know. But look at how cute. I am super excited. I think I already know what I want to do considering I am going out for the day. But the packaging, super freaking cute. I'm in love. Definitely being displayed like a plus now of course I just have to show you guys because this is one of my most favorite features of the whole thing um it is that oh I am really excited I know it's not makeup related but it is at the same time um is the fact that it comes in with a board game this is the board game. It has the directions right freaking here. Um, anyways, it comes with the board game and I'm super, super, super duper excited. Um, I want to open this to just show you guys because why not? Um, I don't have anything that I could use to potentially open this. Um, oh, I did it. Okay. And then I promise I will do some swatches and we'll get right into the makeup. I just had to show you guys this. I. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This whole collection is just beautiful. Look at this. Is a real board size game? Like, I'm playing this. I, I guarantee it. It looks pretty darn close to the original, just more pastel -y. Like, this is super cute. It came with the four little guys. Now, the original one, I think, came with, like, red and blue and green and yellow, but, which is these, but these are more pastel colors, and they're super, super cute. Um, and, of course, like I said, it comes with the directions of how to play the game. So, that is very nice. Um, and, of course, it came with the cards, because you can't play color, color pop land slash candy land without the cards. All right, so let's get to swatching. Makeup. So, I don't know what to do. First, we'll swatch all of the products, and then we'll get to it. So, of course, starting off, I'm going to do the Super Shock um, Cheek Blushes. Uh, this is Gum Drop, Gum Drop Pass. Now, what I'm going to do is actually move you guys so you can... Here so I can swatch all right here. Um, and then I'll just do the other arm. Hello, guys. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. That is super cute. Look at that. That is such a cute color. Um, smells amazing, mind you. This is the shade Jolly. Take another finger. Clean. Oh, and it's super smooth. Oh, that's really cute. I think I want to wear that one today. And this is the shade Gummy More. It smells so amazing. Like... This is light for like just a natural like little pop of color um and then of course let's swatch these products should have left them out of their container but i didn't so don't mind my outfit i pretty much got up a few hours before it was delivered and i was i don't know why get ready when you're about to do makeup so here are the three lip balms in person this is the shade peppermint frost and it's this nice little pink thing. And I'm going to just swatch it right. It gives you a little hint of pink. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. Oh, it smells like peppermint. I'm in love. Okay, I'm in love with this whole collection. This is the shade Let's Chill. And it's that darker pink color. And I'm just going to swatch it right here. And it's a little bit darker pink. That's super cute. Peppermint. Delicious. Love it. And this is lastly the shade... Mr. Mint, and it's like this coral color, and I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Super cute, super excited. And then why not, let's just 
you know, to watch Princess Lolly over here. Um, when I first heard about this, I had just told my husband, okay, I'm going to take a break from buying makeup and use what I have. And then Colourpop said, oh, we're going to release a new thing. And so, you know, so here you go. It's just a clear gloss, but it's super cute. I hope you can see it. It smells delicious. All right, it just smells delicious. Okay, but next off, we are going to swatch this lovely little palette right here. Um, I'm using this hand to make sure it's pretty much clean. Um, and starting off, I'm going to go with the pinky, and this is the shade Candyland. Oh my, okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Next up, we're going to do Sugar High, which is this color. I'm going to keep the boot over here. Hopefully you can see it. Look at how pretty this is, and this is Sugar High. Oh, my Lanta, that is going in my inner corner. I hope you can see it properly. Next shade is Cravings, and it's this nice little pastel yellow. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see all these. Next up is King Candy. Super cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Next up is Lord Licorice. Oh, these shades are just so cute. I'm gonna just wipe this on my shirt and pants because I don't have a makeup wipe on me. Next up is Grandma Nut. And this is a nice little pink color. Oh, super cute. Next up is Plumpy. Oh, that is a nice shimmer. And it's cute. Next up is Rainbow Trail. I'm in love. Next up, Candy Crush. Oh, super cute. And lastly, Gloppy. Just this nice little shade right here. So these are all the swatches. Um, but let's get started. Let's, let's so first off, of course, we are going to prime the eyelids. Um, this is taking a bit longer than anticipated, but what can I say? It is beautiful. So I'm going to just take this Morphe brush, and let's see. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Put it on the back of my hand so I can just scoop it up. I need the palette. Just realized that I don't have a mirror in front of me. Okay. And I kind of just put this all over my eye and blend it in rub it in, whatever you want to call it. That way it's all even. I had to make sure I reminded myself to prime because to not prime is a crime, as many people say, but I have a habit of not priming just because I normally take this off. But I don't think I'm going to take this off right away. I think I'm going to keep this on. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that right into the skin where all the eyeshadow product is going to go. And even more, that way it doesn't look patchy. Make sure it's right there. Back into the skin. Make sure it's all on. And beautiful. I am sorry, by the way, that the lighting is a little bit off. It's not as sunny, and for some reason my lamp isn't getting really towards me. But that is okay. So, let's dive in. So first off, I'm just going to take this brush right here and dip into the shade King Candy, which is like this little orangey pastel shade, which I believe was two, three, four. This shade right here, number four, that I swatched. I'm going to put that on my brush and just pack that all onto the lid. Love pastel colors. I'm gonna just lean back so the sunshine can attract my face so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing. Next I'm gonna take the other eye. It seems more pinky on my eyelid than it did in the swatch, but I'm not mad about it. Now that that is all on my lid and you can't really tell, but that's just because it's a light color, I'm going to take 
big tiny little, um, I think tapper brush, I think that's what it's called, I'm not 100% sure, and I'm going to take Grandma Nut, because I feel like it's a darker shade than what I already put on, and I'm going to put this right into my crease. And of course into the outer corner. They blend really nice. I have a few makeup ideas, so I think I'm going to make a tutorial video for this palette as well, after this probably. Okay, now that that is on there, I'm going to take a other flat brush, and I'm going to dip in the shade Candyland, and I'm going to put that all over right here, just so it adds a little bit of shimmer. Super cute. It smells good. Now that that is on my lid, I'm going to take um, this little brush right here and I'm going to dip in the shade Sugar High. I'm going to put that right into the inner corner. Give us a little peppermint moment right here. It's a little bit harder with this brush, but Cute. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. I will show you better lighting in a minute. But of course, I'm going to prime my face with the, um, what's it called? The e.l.f. primer. I'm gonna rub that in. I don't know if you're supposed to, but that's what I do. Um, just to, prime, to not prime is a crime. And this one is really tacky, and I like that. Once it dries a bit. I get my forehead. You may be asking myself, why are you doing your full face? And that's a great question, but I wanna, if I put the super shock blush on my face, without being covered in foundation, then it won't look like I put any on because my face is naturally pink. <clears throat> so now that it's in, I'm just gonna take my Wet n' Wild foundation stick. I'm gonna kind of put it all over. Now, I know this is not the original shade, or my actual shade. It's all I have right now. And I just got it in my hair, but it's fine. We're gonna get up close and personal. Okay, and I'm going to take back that mirror that I just had. I'm going to take my little foundation brush, pack it in, rub it in. It's a bit pale for my normal skin. It will be okay. Should have put my hair in a ponytail. Can I ignore my forehead being big? But we're gonna blend. And now we're gonna get real started with the Super Shock Blush. Ignore the hair. So, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the shades Jolly. I think I'm gonna do Jolly, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna take my blush brush, like this, tap right into it. it smells amazing. Put it all on my cheek. A 
setting some shine, definitely bringing some attention to my pimples, but that's my acne, but that's fine. That's a natural human bodily thing that happens. Tap, tap, tap. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of um, gumdrop. Is this a blush or a highlighter? I don't know. It's still cute, whatever it is. And I'm going to take this, put it on my nose. Like so. Cute. All right, and I'm going to Put the lids back on, of course. All right, what am I missing? Oh, this little fella, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna... Is it sparkly? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna put glitter all over my face because I don't know what I'm doing, to be quite honest with you. Got to be a sparkle queen. Probably should have watched how to use one of these, but I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm just. Oh. Okay. Alright, but for now, I'm just gonna take this blush brush, even though it's super big. Kind of tap in here. Kind of just add a little bit of highlight to it, even though it's. Okay. Add a little bit more intense sparkle right there because I don't know what I'm doing. And only some people can admit that they don't know what they're doing. So, I think it looks cute and that's all that matters. Makeup is whatever you make it. Oh, I am a shimmery, shimmery person. <laughs> I don't hate it. Alright, so I'm going to pick the shade... No. Um, Let's Chill as my lip balm. It does not feel drying, it feels nice. And it gives that simple little like, pinky little vibe. I feel like a peppermint. And I'm going to take my ColourPop Graceland liner and I'm going to just, Beautiful. Butter has a longer wing. But it's still cute. It's uneven, but it's cute. And of course, I'm just going to take the same grandma nut and put it on my lower lash line. Like so. I'm going to take my mascara and just pop that on there. So, I'm going to 
so many. There we go. This is the final look. I'm just gonna grab my phone right here. It's super cute. I love it. So I'm going to, of course, do the gloss because why not? And this is the final look. Let me know how you guys, I totally recommend all of these products. They smell amazing. Um, they're super freaking cute. Like, I'm in love. Probably going to be the main collection I use for a very long time. Um, yes, my hair is a mess, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really love this collab. Um, so, yeah, if you liked this, please leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to uh, comment to see what you would like to see next. I am going to make a few tutorials using this palette because I have a few ideas. But, anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. All right. Bye.